Jeremiah Say to the king and the queen mother, Take a lowly seat, for your beautiful crown has come down from your head. I have made their widows more in number than the sand of the seas. I have brought against the mothers of young men a destroyer at noonday. I have made anguish and terror fall upon them suddenly. Woe is me, my mother, that you bore me, a man of strife and contention to the whole land. I have not lent, nor have I borrowed, yet all of them curse me. For thus says the Lord concerning the sons and daughters who are born in this place, and concerning the mothers who bore them and the fathers who fathered them in this land. No one shall break bread for the mourner to comfort him for the dead, nor shall any one give him the cup of consolation to drink for his father or his mother. Cursed be the day on which I was born, the day when my mother bore me, let it not be blessed, because he did not kill me in the womb, so my mother would have been my grave and her womb forever great. I will hurl you and the mother who bore you into another country, where you were not born, and there you shall die. This was after King Jeconiah and the queen mother, the eunuchs, the officials of Judah and Jerusalem, the craftsmen, and the metal workers had departed from Jerusalem. Your mother shall be utterly shamed, and she who bore you shall be disgraced. Behold, she shall be the last of the nations, a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Zedekiah was twenty-one years old when he became king, and he reigned eleven years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Hamutal, the daughter of Jeremiah of Libna.